This is your kind of restaurant, Flower Child in Uptown Park, just opened. When did you open, Chef? A week ago. How's it going? It's been going amazing. The response has been out of sight. I'm so excited for you. So Chef excited. Don Bowie, head chef here at Flower Child. You know, one thing that I really like about the restaurant is the pricing, Chef. I looked at the menu. It looks like every dish is around $9 to $13. A very affordable price point for healthy food where we make everything in-house. And here are the six good things that your food is, it can be vegetarian, it can be vegan, it can be paleo, exactly. it can be dairy-free, sugar-free, exactly. or gluten-free. That's a big one today, so all the desserts are gluten-free. Isn't so that a, a wonderful option to yeah. offer yeah. Yeah. at a great price point? Now, everyone... Chef, tell us what this is. It's ginger. Ginger, everyone. This is what it looks like in the supermarket. Fresh is always the way to go. It adds a lot of flavor and zip exactly. to your dishes. But how do we get the skin off, so Chef? Typically, a lot of people kind of have a misconception that you have to kind of chop this. The best thing you can use is a simple spoon. So if you take this and just start it, basically scratching the skin off. So it's minimal amount of waste, mm -hmm. and it gets the skin off in seconds. And then from and there, do you wash that first? Well, well no, because the skin you're taking all off. Okay. So the part that you'll be using and it has not been touched by anything. Okay. So what we use this for is for our ginger miso that we put on our beets for our, our vegan poke bowl. And it's like a sauce, right? Okay. It is. So very, very flavorful, very has a little tang to it if you want to give it a try before I mix it. Okay, tell us what these ingredients are. So right here you have unrefined sugar, you have kosher salt, this is the ginger after we've peeled it and sliced it, this is miso paste, which is fermented soybeans, you have rice wine vinegar, and you have grapeseed oil. So we blend all these together to create this ginger miso that we then take... It's very tasty. So then we take that. Oh, Chef, that's delicious. Exactly. So we mm. take that, we marinate it in our beets. To kind of, like I said, if you've had a poke bowl, typically with fish, we've replaced it with beets, so we kind of wanted to do a vegan option to it. So once we kind of get that marinated, we'll take that and add it to our vegan poke bowl. Oh, wow. And you can still add protein to this. You can add salmon, you can add chicken, you can add beef if you don't want to keep it all the way vegan. And you offer all those three options? Offer all here. those three options here, indeed. So that becomes this. So then we top that with some crunchy wasabi, some dulce, and it's very flavorful. It's vegan, and that's the thing. A lot of people don't have vegan options, so they want to come somewhere where they can try to have all their favorite dishes their way. It sounds amazing. We're a flower child, everyone, in Uptown Park. All right, Chef, everyone's talking about this type of toast. Tell us what it is. So that is our avocado toast, which is one of our top sellers here. So you have avocados, you have uh, a soft-cooked egg, we have prairie brie cheese on top of it, very tasty. That and the tomato toast, our heirloom tomato toast, are completely out of sight. There's another toast, yeah. We've been selling a ton of these since we opened up. So over here you have our Mother Earth Bowl, which is our number one seller. It's kind of that go-to dish where you want something filly, you want something healthy. It has ancient grains in it. You have arugula, you have a broccoli pesto we do, roasted sweet potatoes, our mushroom onion mix, completely out of sight. And That's that wrap looks delicious. Oh, completely amazing. So this is our flying avocado, so our take on kind of a turkey sandwich. So we make the peat in-house. You have avocado spread in there, uh, smoked gouda cheese, completely amazing. Um, our, these are some of our salads. Can you tell me this is our Indian spice cauliflower with a little cauliflower relish on top. So a little dates, give it a little sweetness, a little spice to it. A um, very big seller here. And obviously you see all the beautiful salads we have in the back. Uh, I'm a big kale person, so this is our kale salad. A lot of sweet, a lot of savory. Um, what about dessert, Chef? Oh, this is dessert. So for you, all our desserts are gluten-free. This is our gluten-free brownie. Now trust me, nothing about this is going to taste gluten-free. You. It's been moist on the inside, just like our lemon cake. Our desserts are so amazing. People come in and are surprised about how moist they are. Because typically gluten-free desserts don't have that kind of moistness to it. All of our stuff is amazing. Are you using any kind of flour, like an almond flour or coconut flour? Yeah, we, have, we use gluten-free flour um, in all of our desserts, so it's completely safe. A lot of people think, are you sure they taste it? They're like, are you sure this is gluten-free? Absolutely positive. I will definitely taste it after the Good. show, because Good. if it's anything as delicious as your miso dressing, which was amazing, Good. Good. I can... I, I will love it. Chef, Chef Bunk, congratulations on your new restaurant. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey, everybody, this is Cleverly at Flower Child, brand new restaurant in Uptown Park for Fox 26 News.